We're under the new M3, uh, yes. some place that we're um, not very often. Uh, it's an opportunity. Uh, could you tell us uh, what are the uh, main changes uh, here? Yes, we did a lot uh, on the car for rigidity mm -hmm. and that's why we have our new uh, rear axle carrier. It's a lightweight construction. It's directly bolted to the body in white. We have no rubber bushings. Normally you use that technique on, on race cars and that's uh, like on our M5 and our M6. It's the first time on a, on a street car and it gives you a very good feel of the, of the back of the car. And as you can see, we have all uh, forged uh, elements, very rigid elements in the, in the, in the whole uh, drivetrain and body. We have our uh, M differential gear, it's electronically controlled. Um, it's uh, also from the M5 and from the M6. And it's directly connected to our one-piece carbon fiber drive shaft. We save five kilos with that carbon fiber drive shaft. And, but it's not only the weight saving. Uh, it's, uh, it has a better uh, torsion stiffness mm -hmm. and it's lighter for the engine because it's a rotated mass. So the response is faster? Yes, the response of the engine is, is faster because of its rigidity and its uh, lower weight. Uh, and in, in a lot of cases we try not only to save the weight but to have mm -hmm. an additional benefit. Like on the rear axle carrier it's lighter but it's also stiffer and it's directly bolted and we, we always try to have uh, a f more benefits on, on the parts we change. Mm -hmm. Um, what about here? This looks like a radiator. Yes, no, it's the it's for the rear axle cooling. It's a it's a very special differential. It's a unique uh, M development part, um, and uh, the housing is divided in this direction, and that makes it possible to have the very big cooling area here, and especially for the racetrack use, the cooling is very important. Not only the cooling on, of the engine, but the cooling of the rear axle differential gear as well, and the M3 as well as the M4 is 100% uh, racetrack mm -hmm. uh, able, so you have to, to do all this mm -hmm. stuff so this to is, be this safe. is just the uh, air cooling? Uh, yes, it's an air cooling. There is an oil sump in there and the air flows here under the car very well to this uh, part of the end. The, the so, the, so the heated uh, parts of the exhaust don't uh, yes, interrupt they, it? They, yes, they, they, that's not the big problem because the air th uh, flows through it and uh, the, the cooling is, uh, yeah, is, is, is no problem with the, with the big fins here. Okay, uh, let's talk about the exhaust. Uh, yes, it's, uh, uh, we have the first time an electronically controlled flap in the exhaust system and the very special about it is uh, that you can go that it's like a bypass for the silencer. In the efficient mode, the, the, the hosing goes through the silencer and you have a, a normal uh, sound. Uh, and when you go to the Sports Plus or to the Sports Mode, uh, the flap opens here and that's like a bypass for the muffler and you have the, the full sound uh, okay. on the car. Speaking of sound, uh, there is some uh, sound generation inside. Yes, yes. It's a very few, few let's say maybe 2% of the, of the sound. We, we do not add anything to that sound. Uh, we modelize it a little bit and... Uh, the, Amplify it? Uh, yes, a little bit, but the... the, the thing we want to can generate is that the car the driver has a better feedback uh, how the engine does at the moment the load of the engine the rest so it's not masking the sound of the turbo which does this kind of no once no, in a while. no 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 uh, we we want to have that sound of the turbo because we say okay it's a turbo engine and we do a lot we do a lot with the turbo to have no turbo lag and that's why it makes uh, some noises sometimes the turbo but we say the performance is much more important than these noises and I think for the fans they will love these noises because I think they will be sometimes they they become a part of the of the new M3. Okay let's move to the front. Okay here we are in the front and yes. uh, what changed here? I heard yesterday uh, you developed a whole new steering rack. Yes, exactly. It's the first time on an M car we have an electric steering rack. It's a completely new developed part. Uh, it's with an, uh, a very rigid construction. So it's not something you've taken out of the 435i? No, no, no. It's a completely new uh, development. Uh, it's uh, 
the housing is completely new. It's a, a reinforced housing. We have a, a, a very big uh, engine in there, but not the biggest one available because the, the engine is the, the biggest problem with the steering. Because in the normal steering, you uh, get the forces from the, from the wheels into the steering wheel. And that's very important for uh, that you feel how the car handles and how precise the car is. And that's why we uh, made the whole front axle construction, the kinematics of the front axle, uh, in this way that uh, the tires can produce that big forces that they can move the, the, the electro engine. So that you get feedback. That you get that feedback. And that is only one thing. The other thing is with that big forces that can push the electro engine, you have to have a very rigid uh, body because these forces can come loose in the body and that's why we stiffened the whole body that, uh, that the forces stay in the, in the steering system and at least they come to the steering wheel. And that's the, yeah, the, the most important thing, to have a very stiff car, to have the kinematics for the electric steering system, to have a very rigid electric steering system, and in the end, you can feel uh, the road, you can feel everything the car does, and have a very uh, exact uh, ride with a good feedback from the, from the road. Okay. Um, anything else uh, worth mentioning here? Yes, we have a completely new uh, aluminium front axle carrier. Mm -hmm. It saves weight. On the one hand, we have additional bolting points to the body in white. Uh, it's for the same reason to stiffening the whole system mm -hmm. uh, over there. So compared to a regular 3 Series or even 335i, yes, it's how, how much stiffer would you say it is? It, oh, I'm not sure how much stiffer it is to the normal 3 Series, but I can say it's 20% stiffer than the predecessor M3. And what is for us even more important, the 20% is in the torsion stiffness, but in the um, sideways stiffness we add 30% and that's a very big benefit for the for the steering feeling. Okay, uh, is this stiffness the same on? Well, an M4 is basically a new car. Yes. Um, yes is the stiffness also, let's say, around 20% more compared to the uh, coupe version of uh, of the M3? Um, for the M3 and the 4, it's it's nearly the same. All the, the figures about the uh, suspension setting and uh, the, the torsion stiffness of the 4-door is a little bit uh, better than on the 2-door. I, I felt that. Yes, but it's very, very, very small. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.